Do you get this annoying default Corsair IQ Elite LCD display on your CPU cooler? It doesn't pop up on IQ. You're trying your best to try to get this cooler to pop up on IQ. It's recognized on the firmware side. You can even update it, but it just still won't pop up on IQ. Well, there's a way to fix it. More than likely, you want to be able to do cool effects, something like this. Fish swimming around from Night City on a cyberpunk effect themed PC. Well, let's go ahead and get started and figure out what the problem is. This will be a relatively quick guide and hopefully we can get your H150i Elite LCD display cooler working right away or any other display cooler, whether it's a H100 or H80 or whichever LCD display cooler that you have, or perhaps it's an Elite Capelix. Let's hope we can get it working. The very first step you have to do is go up to the settings cog up here and you're going to go to the firmware updates. When you do the firmware updates, just click check for updates. Make sure everything is up to date. More than likely, it probably is, and if you're still having a problem, then proceed to the next step, which is the software updates. You want to go ahead and proceed with the updates for the software. So we're going to check that we have the latest version. So the next step is if there was any update at all, we can restart the IQ service. So just hit restart IQ and hopefully it loads up then. And if it doesn't, don't worry. I'm going to show you another in order for you to get your H150i Elite LCD cooler or whichever IQ cooler that you have. We're going to type in the search bar. So you're just going to type in device and what you're going to look for is Bluetooth and other device settings. And when you do, it's going to pop up something like this here. And you should see some of the devices that you have. And right here, you're going to see other devices. And you can see I have a Corsair IQ Commander Core, a Lighting Note Core, LCD Cap for Elite Caplex Cooler. All these devices here, I would suggest hitting the menu and remove the device. And make sure to get out of IQ to do so. And once you do, go back into IQ and it should try to load up. And if it doesn't, that's okay too. Next drastic step you would have to do, if this doesn't work, you're gonna to have to go to, down to the Windows button down here and power off your PC completely. And what I mean power off your PC completely, go to the back of your PC after it shuts off, give it about a minute or two after it's off, and then shut off the power supply. Once you do, turn the power supply back on, turn on your PC, and then once Windows loads up, this should pop up. Some of your Corsair devices start to load in, including the Elite LCD cooler. Now you might get an explanation point or whichever, but don't worry about it because maybe there will be some other drivers loading in that was missed when IQ installed this driver. Now, if that doesn't work, you're going to have to do the most extreme step, which would be make sure you go down to IQ, make sure you quit. And after you quit, you're going to go to uh, here and you're going to type devices and go to Bluetooth and other device settings. Go down to the other devices and uninstall each device that you do not see in IQ. Now we have those devices removed. Just simply hit Windows R percent app data percent go into it and erase the Corsair folder just simply hit that trash can or press the delete button and if you get this message just make sure that you are exited outside of IQ if you're not exited out of IQ you'll get this message where it will not allow you to delete the folder so make sure to delete that then once you do click Windows R and instead of just app data, you're just gonna type local in front of it. And then when you do go into Corsair and erase it once more. After you delete that Corsair folder, what you're gonna do is you're gonna delete the program files, but we can't delete the program files until we uninstall Corsair IQ. So let's go ahead and do that. The Windows button, right click it, go to installed apps, and then you're going to have to type IQ. Once you do, hit the menu button and uninstall it completely. 
make sure it is a clean install. If you have any preferred profiles that you want, make sure to have them saved before you proceed and go ahead to do this step. Now that we deleted IQ, make sure you press Windows R and you're just gonna follow the following command here, or you're just gonna open the program files. And once you do, you're gonna go into program files and you're gonna delete Corsair. Now, if you have an issue deleting Corsair after it's uninstalled, that's okay. Just reset your PC and, or restart your PC by just simply uh, going to the Windows button, power, and then just restart. Log into Windows like you usually do, and then press Windows R, kind of repeat the same steps, press Windows R, have the run command come up, open up your program files, and then delete the Corsair file. If that doesn't work, then we're gonna have to restart the PC into safe mode. And in order to do that, what we have to do is type advanced, change advanced startup options. So we're gonna go here to do that and just click restart now on that. Or you can go down to the Windows button here, hold shift while you press restart. If that doesn't work while the PC is restarting, just hold down the F8 key. And when you do, and you'll see the startup options, just make sure to start up in safe mode. And when you do, same exact method, log into Windows, press Windows R, go into program files and delete that directory of where Corsair is located. And then once you do that, then proceed to the next step. Shut off the PC completely. So you're gonna go down to the Windows button down here, hit power, and then shut down. After the PC is shut down, give it a minute or two, and then shut off the power supply completely. Give it about a minute or two after it's off, turn on the power supply. Once that is done, power up your PC, go back into Windows, and then reinstall IQ. Your cooler should appear. Hopefully you found this content very useful. Make sure to give it a thumbs up if it did help. And also if you know anybody else who needs their cooler to pop up on IQ, make sure you share this video with them. If you're not part of the big wonderful fan band, make sure you go down and hit the subscribe button for more. And don't forget to hit the notification bell. And for all the newest updates, make sure you follow my extended right here as it is the same as my TikTok and IG as well. So fam -am guys, will you get IQ products again? Or have you lost faith in Corsair when it comes to their products? Let me know in the comments down below. Thank you guys so much for watching this Chris Miso, signing out.